We discuss in this video linear dynamical systems, their analytic solutions, and asymptotic behavior. There will be a few more involved, but still elementary considerations when we discuss the analytic solutions of such systems. We start with a simple form of a linear dynamical system where there is no external term. Consider the dynamical system an plus 1 equals r times a n for some constant r. By induction, it's easy to see that the solution in this case is a n equals r to power n times a0. We can calculate the constant r by writing the first dependency a1 equals r times a0, which means that r is a1 over a0. So let's see the behavior of the sequence of numbers generated by linear dynamical systems in a few simple cases. If r equals 0, then obviously the whole sequence except the first term is constant and equal to 0. In this case we have that a n equals 0 to power n times a 0, which is obviously 0 for all n greater than or equal to 1. If r equal 1, then the whole sequence is constant and equal to the first term. In this case we have that a n equals r to power n times a0 and that equals a0 for all n greater than or equal to 1. If r equals minus 1, then the whole sequence is periodic and it switches between two values. In this case we have that a n equals r to power n times a0 which is minus 1 to power n times a0. The even terms of this sequence are a to n equals minus 1 to power 2n times a0, and that is a0. And the odd terms of this sequence are a 2n plus 1 equals minus 1 to power 2n plus 1 times a0, and that is minus a0. Consider now the cases when either r is greater than 1 or r is smaller than minus 1. In the first case, if r is bigger than 1, then r to power n goes to infinity and so the whole sequence will go to infinity. In the second case, if r is smaller than minus 1, then r to power n will switch between positive and negative numbers both with larger and larger absolute values. This means that the even terms of the dynamical system will tend to infinity and the odd terms will tend to minus infinity. In the case when r is between minus 1 and 1, r to power n will tend to 0 and so the whole sequence will tend to 0. If r is positive between 0 and 1, then the sequence decreases uniformly from its first value to 0. If r is negative between minus 1 and 0, then the sequence will switch between, between positive and negative values all closer and closer to 0. Let's consider now the general form of linear dynamical systems where there is also a free term b. Such systems are also called sometimes affine dynamical systems. We already had a few examples of such dynamical systems in the previous video. Here is one more example where they are useful. Consider a medical prescription for digoxin. The problem is to prescribe an amount that keeps the drug concentration in the bloodstream above a certain effective level, but below a safe level. The model we want to build should answer to two questions. What's the decay of a single dose and what dose is to give to the patient? So we should first find out what's the decay of a single dose. In other words, given a single drug dose, what's the amount of drug still in the bloodstream after n days? Assume we have the following experimental data. We 
We can plot as usual the change between consecutive values against the current value and we obtain the plot on the right. We can observe right away the linear dependency and indeed we can see it as this straight line and we can measure the slope of the line to be minus 0 0.5. So in other words the model we write is a n plus 1 minus a n equals minus 0 0.5 times a n and this means that a n plus 1 equals 0 0.5 times a n. For the second part of our model we should clarify the effect of additional doses. Let's assume that we add a daily dosage of 0 0.1 units. So the model will be a n plus 1 equals 0 0.5 a n plus 0 0.1. Depending on what the initial value a0 may be, the numbers in this sequence may align as in the plot here. I will show you how to calculate the analytical solution of general linear dynamical systems. This is useful when thinking about the asymptotic behavior of the systems, for example about their equilibria. The general form of the model we want to solve is a n plus 1 equals r times a n plus b for some constants r and b with r different than 1. The case r equals 1 is really easy with the dynamical system being just an arithmetic progression and so we skip it here. Let's write also the nth term of the system which is a n equals r times a n minus 1 plus b. We can now calculate the difference of these two terms which is a n plus 1 minus a n equals r times a n minus a n minus 1. Let's denote now by x n a n plus 1 minus a n. This means that x 0 is a 1 minus a 0 and that is if we remember that a 1 was r times a 0 plus b and we still have this minus a0. So all in all x0 is r minus 1 a0 plus b. So then what we have is that xn equals r times xn minus 1 which means that the general form of this sequence is xk equals r to power k times x0. So what we got was that a k plus 1 minus a k equals r to power k times x0. If we now sum up this relation from k equals 0 to n minus 1, We are going to get that a n minus a 0 equals to x 0 times 1 minus r to power n over 1 minus r. And this is minus r to power n x 0 over 1 minus r plus x 0 over 1 minus r. We can denote the coefficient of r to power n by c and so we are going to write that c is going to be minus x0 over 1 minus r and if we remember who x0 was we are going to get that c equals minus r minus 1 a0 plus b over 1 minus r. So this means that c is a0 minus b over 1 minus r. 
So what we get is that a n minus a zero equals r to power n times c minus a zero plus b over one minus r. And we got this second part here by replacing who x zero was from here into this part of the formula. And so all in all, by simplifying this minus a zero here and here, we are going to get that 8n equals r to power n times a constant c plus b over 1 minus r.